human evolution so homo sapiens when did we appear in the tree of life so approximately 300000 years back right 3 lakh years isn't it that is the that is what the current estimate says so earlier few years back it was 150 years but recent evidence suggests that we were uh, so much earlier on the planet earth you know so human evolution actually you can say one of the most famous fossil is astropithecus afarensis uh, this is called lucy you know so this uh, lucy has been on display in many of the world's uh, museums uh, reconstruction of course the original specimen is in uh, uh, somewhere in uh, africa you know ethiopia i guess right so it is around uh, 3.9 to 2.9 million years back this specimen so it is basically astrolopithecus which is very related to homo we belongs to the genus homo right so genus homo is approximately uh, 3 million years old so this is the something like a transition fossil to homo you know so homo is our genus which is around 3 million years back the origin and homo sapiens our species is around 300000 years back you know so that is how the species is kind of easy to guess isn't it easy to remember isn't it so it's a transition to the bipedalism so uh, before this uh, australopithecus afarensis uh, you know whatever the related hominids were uh, you know the the quadrupedals right so yes so this is not really bipedal isn't it so it is not it doesn't have an erect body shape so Uh, this one is a a, a big a step this bipedalism so that made human being the hands completely free to do to make the tools especially and also to communicate with each other you know so that this transition is uh, very very important so that is why the fossil of lucy it's a lady you know so uh, this is in, uh, yes addis ababa in ethiopia it is original one is uh, kept in ethiopia it's an ethiopian fossil 3.2 million years old you know uh, of course lucy is a uh, australopithecus afarensis uh, afaren is a, is a place in ethiopia you know where the excavation is so if you look at the human evolution or hominid evolution most of the famous fossils are in africa you know so that is why uh, you know that is the reason why we think that the entire human being originated and even rather hominids rather originated in the africa you know so most of the species diversity you can find in africa you know so yeah this is how it looks like if you look back in time so you know hominids started uh, you know homo you know the evolution of homo is approximately 3 million years back while homo sapiens is around 300000 years back right now if you look at the uh, different family genus so of course our genus is homo uh, along with pan Trogloidus, that is the chimpanzee. We form a tribe called Homini. You know the tribe where we are part of is called Homini, right? And uh, there is a subfamily including gorilla. So gorilla, of course, belongs to the tribe Gorini, uh, Gorillini, and together with gorilla and Pan and Homo, together forms a subfamily called Homininae. You know, so Homininae is a subfamily. and the family of us is hominidae right hominidae is a family so this is uh, in this family of course we also have another sub family called uh, pongine where pongo is part of Prong, pongo is basically pongo trogloidus is orangutan so after gorilla it is we are really related to orangutans current day living you know and then comes hylobates so hylobate is basically gibbon you know so together with all this we we belong to super family called hominoidea right and then yeah so that is uh, how this uh, division inside uh, the, the the i mean the taxonomic hierarchy where we are part of looks like so hominini hominini is around 5 million years back you know so you can see that after that australopithecus started so somewhere here is the lucy the famous uh, fossil and bipedalism so this is in the early at uh, the end of pleistocene or early you know uh, end of uh, pliocene and beginning of pleistocene is when uh, this uh, bipedal uh, homo uh, you know homo erectus and homo habilis homo habilis first then homo erectus originated you know so of course we have so many uh, 
um, you know species inside homo right homo is our genus we have several species but you can see that almost all these species are gone or became extinct except homo sapiens and the consensus among the evolutionary biologists is that it all went extinct because we killed them you know so for our own uh, species in order for us to live we you know we brutally killed all other uh, cousins and close relative of, of all these other homo uh, you know species so some of the famous homo uh, you know homo uh, in inside the homo genus the species with most species famous means large number of specimen right is homo neanderthalensis especially in europe and Homo heidelbergensis, which is in Germany, isn't it? Heidelberg is a, a city in Germany. Homo habilis, which is in Africa. Homo ergaster and Homo erectus, right? So as you can see, this is a Homo sapiens. The closest relatives are uh, Neanderthalensis, right? Including Homo neanderthalensis and Denisova people, Denisovans, right? Then comes, so we are very close related to the Homo ancestor, right? Uh, antecessor, that is the, the name of it, Homo antecessor. Then various Homo species, the red deer, cave, Asian Homo erectus, African Homo erectus, and Homo ergaster. Then comes Homo rudolfensis and Homo habilis. These are really early splitters, isn't it? So this is how uh, the, the phylogenetic tree looks like. You know, and of course we have antecessor and flores, uh, fluorescences. These are not species rich, uh, you know, species. So only very few individual, only one individual or less than 10 individuals have been found for all these longi or homo bodensis or rudolfensis. But most famous, uh, our cousins, most famous of our cousins are Erectus, Ergaster, Habilis, Heidelbergensis and Neanderthalensis, you know. So this is how the, the split happens. The Homo sapiens originated around 300,000 years back, right? And yes, yeah, so other things. So Homo sapiens might be from Homo heidelbergensis, right? And these are other lineages. And as you can see, all other Homo lineages have gone extinct. And that is why you can see that this is, uh, you know, this particular lineages are uh, stopping before reaching the zero. Zero is the present day, you know? And these are the spatial distribution from Eurasia, Eastern Africa, Western Africa, Central Africa, and Southern Africa, right? So you can see uh, most of the distribution happens at, uh, in Africa. And that is why the Homo as well as Homo sapiens is now uh, almost certain that we are certain that it is originated in Africa. You know? So in biogeography, usually the most uh, genetic diversity is found in place of its origin. You know, so that is the reason why we now know that it is our species originated from Africa and we migrated elsewhere. So Indians, we are all actually migrants from Africa, you know. So Homo sapiens, you see that after the Homo sapiens origin, we still start mating with Neanderthal. And this kind of breeding is very common, even after the Homo, you know. So chimpanzee and Homo, these two are uh, you know, ancestors of these two genus again interbred for millions of years that is what if you look at the genome uh, wide studies you can see that this this kind of uh, pattern so homo sapiens and homo heidelbergensis also interbred you know so you can see that uh, yes yeah, so these are l3 l2 l1 these are the the haplotypes in the africa right southern africa is l0 yeah so that is what now the homo sapiens is around 300,000 years back the homo sapiens originator and by around 150,000 years all the current day lineages you can see in Africa you know so uh, how about the oldest homo sapiens fossil so one of the fossil is uh, probably the <coughs> the most famous fossil is uh, Jebel Irhoud human uh, which is from the Africa around 2.86 million years old which is definitely a human you know a homo modern human being uh, that is a, a yebel irhoud or jebel irhoud that is a species uh, the name of that species uh, name of that specimen you know of course the species is now invariably it's a modern human being that is homo sapiens 
and as you know it is originated from africa and then it started migrating all over the world the, our species right in at least two waves you know the first wave happened approximately 70000 years back to 100000 years back so first wave from you know eastern africa right this is east while this is west right so eastern africa and southern africa no? the latest evidence says it's southern africa then it went to up to the north to the middle east and from there it went start going uh, go walking towards uh, eastward then it went to our uh, you know india so some of the earliest settled, settlers of indian subcontinent is uh, about 70000 years back right from africa right and they walked still further towards east and they went into uh, you know australia a uh, 50000 years back uh, the aboriginal australians are uh, you know these are actually part of the first wave of the human migration started from africa then comes a second wave which has the northward pattern around 40000 years back in which they interbred with uh, you know the ne uh, neanderthalensis homo neanderthalensis of the africa right and also to up towards the uh, you know siberia around 25000 years back they even crossed the uh, this uh, uh, herring strait right uh, between the siberia and uh, alaska and they went into Uh, north america around the 12000 years back they were already in the north america and then they went into the south america as well so they were uh, you know they they were ordus walkers they walked a lot isn't it so yes yeah, so this is yet another uh, way of the illustration illustration of the same thing around uh, 90000 to 70000 is the first wave you can see that this one is a first wave right this uh, red uh, i mean this uh, particular white arrows indicates uh, the first wave all the way to australia around 60000 years back to australia right uh, india australia and uh, uh, you know the uh, central or south south east asia right or central southeast asia so our countries uh, this is very very old uh, migration second wave is around 40000 years back uh, the human went to uh, you know up north towards westward that is uh, current day western europe where they interbred with uh, neanderthalensis and also northward towards uh, siberia and uh, uh, you know uh, towards uh, uh, yes they grow the, towards alaska and uh, north america and then south america you know all those things so if you look at the, the dispersal routes right so these these dots means that these are neanderthal admixture with homo sapiens at least three spots we can see that there is a admixture with the neanderthalensis so here somewhere in the uh, jordan or uh, you know the qatar that the middle east or uh, eastern uh, europe and also somewhere in afghanistan so admixture happened and this triangle is basically the neanderthal homo sapiens admixture with denisovans you know this is uh, this is somewhere in uh, uh, china and uh, uh, you know so tibet isn't it uh yes yeah, so mongolia maybe right this this area might be mongolia or mongolia and russia somewhere nearby denisovan admixture you know and also here in australia also with the uh, denisovan uh, you know the hybridization happened so this is how it looks like if you zoom into the uh, the old world right and the new world uh, to visualize better we have this kind of projection my favorite among the the earth's different projection right this is called dimaxion projection which is centered around the north pole arctic this is arctic you know so this projection is very interesting because that shows you the land connection and the uh, you know the the shortest way to walk from one location to another so of course we were all born here in africa and then it went to india and australia this is the first connection then the second uh, you know one went towards the west that is towards the uh, europe and another went towards the siberia and they crossed the strait to north america and then finally to south america so how do we know about all these different kinds of uh, uh, migration human migration the two waves of human migration uh, we know it by looking at haplotypes you know so we have got two kinds of haplotype one is mitochondrial eve that is mitochondrial dna haplotypes which is matrilinear 
Matrilinear means mother to its offspring because you know mitochondria is only from mother to its children, right? Only the females. So it's matrilineal inheritance, right? And uh, yes, we also have a Y chromosome haplotype to know uh, the story from male perspective. And both say the same story that it started from Africa and then migrating elsewhere in two uh, distinct waves. So you can see that this uh, particular haplotype, uh, you can see that in South India and uh, Aboriginal Australians and in uh, you know, in Africa, you can see this kind of haplotype. So this haplotype is common. The same color is common in this re region. So that way, we now uh, we can uh, reconstruct these waves of uh, migration. You know, by the way, what is haplogroups or haplotypes? These are genetic populations that are often geographically oriented. So yes, yeah, so geo in in certain geographic re region, for example, in South America, this haplotype is more common. You know. So that is what so some of the white dna haplogroups which are very common are like in in africa which they remain in africa is a b and e but all these haplogroups you can see in africa of course you know even uh today's africa that is why we now know africa has been the epicenter of the human uh, origin and migration you know and then some of the haplotypes from africa migrated towards southern route that is a first uh, migration c1 b2 then f k m s h and l h haplogroup y chromosome h is very common in dravidian community in south india you know and uh, that is why they were they were original settlers of the southern uh, the, the uh, indian subcontinent as per the genetics you know so by and large the indian population have got this h haplogroup Y chromosome haplogroup, right? And then second migration is north route uh, towards the uh, uh, you know Siberia and then towards the east, crossing the the strait to go to Alaska. These are the haplogroups D C one A one C two N O and Q. Some of these you can see even in uh, uh, South America, you know. Then the west route, west means up north and towards west. That is Europe where they interbred with the Neanderthalensis C one A two i j g r and t so that is exciting story of the human evolution 